Hey, what's up, guys? It is SMG for Life Zero One. Just coming in with this video. Um, so, as you guys can tell here, I have Turtle Beach PX3, Turtle Beach Air Force Bravo PX3. They actually limited edition Call of Duty Modern Warfare three uh, three ones. You might be wondering why did I buy these? Um, I got these for quite a good price, uh, and they basically work on every console that I use. Um, so I use PS3, Xbox, and PC so they work on all their it's got like a kind of like a KVM switch box kind of thing with it which you use for PS3 Xbox and PC um, obviously the package contents that are inside they have um, I'm literally reading it from like this bit of the box uh, it says Call of Duty limited edition headset uh, transmitter transmitter USB cable headset charging cable obviously this is a rechargeable headset um, RCA splitter cable Xbox 360 talkback cable because you need that cable in order to go from your headset into your Xbox 360 controller so you guys can chat and stuff on Xbox Live. Um, 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cable um, presets reference card presets reference card um, MW3 multimedia download card. You got the user guide. And Turtle Beach sticker. So, and it says also the specification. It says um, some. Sp it says 50 millimeter speakers uh, with uh, neo neomium magnets. I don't know what the hell that means. Uh, frequency response. I think that says 20 hertz. Let me check. I have no idea. 20 kilohertz or KHZ um, lithium polymer rechargeable battery so I guess that's all the stuff you guys need to know about this thing so we will get this opened and obviously it's gonna make a load of noise and stuff uh, when you actually get this it does come in a wrapper uh, like plastic wrapping um, uh, I did literally cut my hand like right here you guys can see I've got a plaster on but I cut my hand uh, cutting these there were zip ties on these two little hinges let me show you guys closer uh, zip ties on like this hinge over here this thing um, and it cut my hand and my um, skin was actually caught inside there I don't know how but yeah let's get to pulling this Bravo thing off obviously I want to keep this on hopefully it's not stuck down yes it is you guys can't see anything there we go uh, so there we have the package package packet <laughs> I can't even say it properly uh, the headset itself along with the transmitter and all these cables so there we have it huge unra unveiling pull off some plastic take out the headset wireless headset again may I mention to you guys uh, it's got um, non-detachable microphone but who really cares everyone loves the mic on this anyway um, I watched some guy's video and he was using this mic to do his commentary and it really actually sounded pretty cool and good really clear as you guys can tell here the the actual headset itself actually presses against your head so uh, it actually does give you it feels alright I haven't tried it for very long but uh, yeah so here is the transmitter box as you can see here if my camera stupid camera focuses so as you can see here PC Mac uh, PS3 and Xbox 360 and then it has USB input cable you can see there it says charge uh, so it says charge there uh, you have the pairing so you can pair the headset to the uh, box you have game volume you have the USB and the AUX auxiliary so yeah, that should be really easy to use I'm gonna try using it with my Echo Spocus 360 I use my Xbox 360 using a VGA cable, which means that um, it, it doesn't use. Um, I don't. I don't. I'm not using HDMI because that's for thingy. So this is the USB cable that it comes with. This is the normal USB that charges it, um, which obviously I'll use, uh, which plugs into your Xbox, to your console, basically. Um, I'll definitely be going through a setup as well. So it comes with. This is a connect cable. If you can see here, it says connect if I can 
get my stupid camera to focus. I definitely need a new camera. Let's connect. Plug straight in into the controller and the headset. So that's probably the talkback. This is the talkback cable for the Xbox. Uh, this is the another USB cable. This is probably for charge only, and it says it there, uh, charge only. So I have to keep that separately. And then we got what cable is this? The jumper cables. The jumper cables is what I'm going to call it. Because you can plug these into your your TV to get audio from your TV, but not. Uh, but also you have your ordinary cables plugged into the back of this. Uh, uh, to allow you to have sound, so you don't really need to plug this into your TV, uh, but uh, people usually do. And then here's your 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter jack cable, which you can use for other stuff too. So, um, and there is a few other things which is underneath this bloody thing, and it's all like stuck down. And pull it out. So you got a tail beach thing, which I'll obviously be opening soon. I won't open it now because there's no point showing you guys what's inside here, which because it's really nothing. So I'm going to get to trying to set up and I'll talk through how, talk you guys through how to set up and stuff. So I'll set up on the Xbox first and I'll come back. Hey what's up guys I'm back and I'm, I'm just going to try and show you how I set up my headset. So basically here's the headset and here's my Xbox. Obviously here's the, well, you guys can't see it but um, there is the cable for that goes straight to the wireless um, transmitter. One thing I did notice is um, the wireless transmitter interferes with the Xbox's wireless. Uh, I had the wireless adapter actually or uh, transmitter on top of the Xbox and it booted me out of Xbox Live. I don't know why. I don't know how. But how I set up is also I got I got forgot to say that the ear cups actually can turn in and out, so you can rest it on your shoulders if you want or your chest if you want. Uh, and also, it's got chat volume. It's got mic on and off. Obviously, you have your input for your Xbox 360. You have your USB charge cable that goes in there. You have a button for your main and presets. You have your game volume, which you can turn up and down, um, which is also pretty epic to have. So, how you um, like sync it or pair it to your um, transmitter box? You hold this down for six seconds, and then you hold the pair button that's on here on the back here. You hold that down for six. I mean, three seconds. So three. So this is this is six seconds, and this is three seconds. Um, do this first. It's more easier that way. And this thing will always flash. So if you're trying to like, oh, why is it still flashing? Cause that's what it's always gonna do. I actually had it connected, and it's still doing that. So um, this is my Xbox setup. So uh, I have the USB cable, which goes out from here. 3.5 millimeter jack, which gets the game sound you could have aux auxiliary so you could plug in like your um, iPod or something in here and then you can just run it straight to your um, headset so that's pretty sweet um, another thing is um, so here is the actual cable so I'm using because I'm using a um, it applies to you if, if you're using HDMI but uh, if you're using HDMI you can get um, one of these cables which I'll show you now um, this is one that I got with my Triton headset and if I'm using HDMI I'll use this and it just basically has that on the back so you, all you have to do is just plug the jumper cables that you have um, that come with your with your um, headset you plug that straight into here and this goes straight into your Xbox and then you have your Xbox audio setup so that's pretty simple and easy to do um, but then you have to run, I guess you have to run another cable from there into your TV if you want TV sound, which obviously not many people want, really. Uh, with my Xbox, I'm always going to use these headset, this headset. I um, rarely will use uh, my uh, speakers that I got, like that's right down there. Uh, I'll show you guys, uh, basically I'm sure, I want to show you guys how to do it. I don't, I don't want to show you guys, I want to tell you guys, because it's so much more easier that way. Because I don't have to fiddle around and then mess up. So, um... This, these two are coming from my Xbox VGA cable, which goes up into my screen, my monitor uh, that I use to play like games and stuff. Um, and these two coming from the Xbox, the behind of the Xbox. And then these two are the things that came with the. They call them piggyback cables, uh, which basically means it just hops on, and then you can plug these two end into your TV to get audio from your TV. 
so with the PS3, same thing, but you need your AV cable. Remember that thing. That's one thing you need with the PS3. You need its AV cable, which plugs into the back of the PS3. And then you have this, which allows you to stream your audio. But then all you have to do if you want audio on your TV too, just change the settings on the audio preferences. And I'll show you that uh, using Blackmagic. I'll record it for you guys and I'll do commentary over that. Because that's a lot more easier. With Xbox, you don't need to go into settings and stuff to set up properly. Um, I guess that it might be set up. So if you can see here, that is... Um, I'll, I'll pull my PS3 cable up. So this is my PS3 cable and obviously the AV is... Uh, around here so that can plug into the back if I want to use it so um, Xbox works fine uh, PC we can set up as well which is again really easy um, you don't have to use this cable you can use the other one that it comes with and use that to uh, stream the audio because you have a 3.5 millimeter jack on your PC already I don't know how you would have um, I don't know how you would have um, the voice that's one thing I'm wondering. How how would I be able to stream voice to the uh, PC? Um, yeah, I'll figure that out. Come back with another video for you guys. So yeah, see you guys then. So let's see. Um, I'm gonna connect up uh, the PS3. Oops. Uh, I'm gonna connect up the PS3 to the. I've connected it to the TV right now. And sorry about that. I'm using a flashlight because it's really dark in here. Um, let me just. Um, so obviously you do have your jumper cables. I literally have them attached to my Xbox still. So let me detach them. That's still plugged into the box. What do you have to do? Is change, switch the the switch which is on here. You can see the the switch there. You switch it to PS3. I had an Xbox before. Um, I tried the presets out and they were pretty sweet. Here sweet. are my AV leads for my PS3. And so I'm gonna attach them. You guys won't be able I've to got see them plugged in, so you can see there, um, red and white, red and white. Uh, so let me go on to the uh, set up this whole thing. Um, it's obviously really long. To hey, what's up, up, guys? Anything. I'm back again, and now I'm on the PS3, um, doing this. Showing you how to set the game up uh, with the headset. I'm not talking using the headset. I'm actually talking using my Yeti microphone. So let me show you guys how I set it up. So you go to your display. You have like your settings bit. You can go to your sound settings. And if you want your audio to come out from two two places. So like you want your audio to come out from your PC. I mean not PC. Your um, PS3. Uh, which is using HDMI going towards your TV and you want audio coming out your TV then you can use this to you can turn that on which allows you to have your audio from your TV and to have your audio on your headset as well so that's an easier situation that's an easier situation that you can have or you can just go audio outputs and set your audio input connector to um, this one because it's so much more easier it's just your your cable that you have it's really easy and you just go through it and you hit enter done uh, right now I'm obviously not using HDMI I'm actually using component but I'm just showing you guys how it would set up and then you also have your settings which you can have by going to like if you want to edit your settings and stuff you can go down to your accessories you can go out to your audio devices and then obviously I haven't got it connected right now but it will have your audio device you can turn your microphone level up you can turn it down and obviously you have the microphone level also on the headset itself um, and then you can change your output device as in you can have your friends voices coming out from the TV or whatever uh, most likely you have it coming out through the headset so it's it works that way but uh, that's how you set up on the PS3 and that's really easy obviously when you're using the Xbox it's a different thing and obviously I don't need to show you guys that because all it is is really with the Xbox it's only is plug and play really and it's really simple to do obviously I have some more videos coming for you guys really soon so hopefully get this out to you guys because obviously some people didn't do this kind of thing for you guys so I want to do that and obviously a PC setup I might do as well because uh, again you have to do some other thing to get the PC set up so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like like that video.
make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, it doesn't cost anything. So, what the hey. Obviously, more videos coming soon. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.